video number 21 SQL reporting service so welcome back uh, in the last video we saw how can we create a report using a stored procedure so we are going to add now this time we are not going to use any I mean create any stored procedure or anything we are going to simply or maybe we can do that if we have time so what are we going to do over here is we are going to there are stored procedures are available already in the north wind alright so if you look at the database all you need to provide them are certain parameters and based on which it triggers the whole system right so let's get started I'm in the Visual Studio and this is what we did last time I'm gonna close it close 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 right click I'm gonna add a new report and this report will be 6 I don't care uh, again this is a generic data source which connects to our instance so I don't need to create again and again data source so right click add data set and I'm gonna call this guy uh, store proc right so I'm gonna call this uh, instead why not get data alright get data looks nice alright let's get it I said get data alright then I'm gonna click new and uh, actually I'm not gonna get a new connection but I'm gonna use a shared connection which you're seeing on the right hand side and once I do that I hit ok and alright next thing I'm gonna use a store procedure not to the the text part I'm sorry and uh, looking at the store procedure I like to pick this guy the sales buyer it it needs uh, two parameters beginning time and the end date and based on which it gives you uh, you know uh, the records and all if you want to have a look uh, at the store procedures then alright so you can look it's very simple right click I'm sorry uh, you can do is right click and then you can say modify and you can see what it is picking up uh, and what exactly is the join and what exactly it does right so if you want to modify you can do the modification and all but for now I'm gonna leave it as it is and I'm gonna say select star from orders orders order detail is fine let's add F5 and what can we see is what did we do shift home f5 and this is order details I'm sorry I was looking for order because the order is contains the date home shift f5 and I'm gonna take one date the order date I'm gonna copy this guy for now alright because I'm going I'll be using this guy as a parameter so let's get back to Visual Studio alright and over here I'm going to pick uh, sales buyer which you are seen in here right in the SQL sales buyer so that's cool and I'm simply gonna say okay the moment I say okay look what are the things happening first of all it knows it, it tells you alright this tool procedure returns these four things apart from that if you look at the parameter section it tells you alright it needs two parameter in order to give you a data back so if you try to preview it so it is very smart and it knows these two parameters are dates so it gives you a date as well alright so this is cool alright so what are we going to do is we are going to get the table because table is something on which we put the data alright let's get the report data let's get the year we'll get the year first then we'll get the ship date and whoopsie ship date then we're gonna get the order ID and and then we're going to add the subtotal now this uh, is very cool because in most of the time it happens you know that it becomes very helpful when you need it so store procedure is really cool so always hit on the top if you want to go back because we know in the north wind it, the date timing was 1996 to 1997 so I'm gonna choose Jan, I'm gonna choose in Jan 1996, I'm gonna choose 2nd Jan and uh, I'm gonna copy this thing Shift home, copy and paste and I'll pick this guy as why bother too much, let's take 1997 let's view the report so you can see all data what exactly you need alright so this was a session regarding how do you create uh, you know the parameter based reports using a stored procedure in most of the cases in the company where I work is mostly uh, where 
we run the payroll we do a lot of things you know where we require this parameters so we supply the parameters and based on which the sewer procedure executes and generates a report to the people right so i hope this video gives you an idea if this video helps you in any way then please uh, give me a thumbs up to my videos and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video once again thank you and good night take care